While using TIPCO Active Matrix Business Works version 5, testing mode provides a developer with options to configure breakpoints and step in the activities configured in the selected process. The screenshot shown here depicts the BW5 environment. Unlike in BW5, the BW6 development environment is based on Eclipse. There are a couple of very important changes to keep in mind as you get started on BW6. To debug applications, you need to start the debugger using menu run debug configurations. Unlike in BW5, you can select one or more applications in your workspace to debug. I will debug the file polar application and set breakpoints on all activities. This opens up debug perspective in Eclipse. This perspective can be used to set breakpoints, step through processes, examine job variables and activity input output at each step. Unlike BW5, you can switch back and forth between debug and design perspectives in Eclipse without starting and stopping. The console view displays the messages and errors returned by the runtime. The breakpoints can be set either before the activity is executed or after an activity or at both times. You can look at the input, output and fault data by selecting the job in the BW jobs view and looking under the job data view for the corresponding activity inside that process. As always, you can maximize and minimize any Eclipse view to optimize your screen layout as you wish. To stop the debugger, press the red color terminate icon on the debug perspective toolbar. You can also see the values of the variables in the process during an execution using the variables tab. Thus, the new TIPCO Active Matrix Business Work 6.x provides you with extensive debugging features that are easier to use. Thank you for watching this video. For more such how do I videos including using how to set breakpoints and how to debug remote applications, please refer to the TIPCO community site.